I mean the name of Detroit that's been running a floating crowd game around here. Getting away with it by moving it to a different spot every night. Why are you telling us, Your Honor? I am telling you this because I know you two bums work for Detroit. Rustling up customers for us crap game. We do? Yeah. Oh! Well, you can tell him for me. I know that right now he's running around looking for a spot. Nobody's gonna give him a spot because they all know Brannigan is breathing down their neck. Hi, Nathan! Fellas, I'm having terrible trouble. Everyone's scared on account of that lousy thing. <laughs>
Okay, Nathan, you know who wants to look for action? Sky Masterson. Sky Masterson's in town. Sky Masterson? Well, that's the highest player of them all. Higher than the Greek? Higher than anybody. Why do you think they call him Sky? Because that's how high he bets. I once saw him put $5,000 on a cockroach. And another time, when he was sick, he wouldn't take penicillin on account. He bet 10 C's. His temperature would go to 104. Well, did it? Did it? Guy's so lucky it went to 106. <laughs> Good old Sky. Well, why don't you just get the money from Sky then? Oh, no. With him, that kind of money ain't winning money. That's bet money. So why don't I bet him? I'll bet him a thousand on something. You would bet with Sky Masterson? Oh, I ain't scared. I am perfectly willing to take the risk. Well, providing we can think of a bet in which there's no chance of me losing. You see, Sky likes crazy bets. Like, which piece of sugar will fly over? Or, how far can you kick a cheesecake? Cheesecake! That's it! Boys, go down to Mindy's restaurant and ask him how many strudel he sold yesterday and how many cheesecake. How much strudel? How much cheesecake? Why do you want to know that for? Just go! Don't uh, beat it! Alice, come! If she finds out I'm running the crap game, she won't step foot on me again! Hello, Nathan Diaz! Hello, hey! Thank you! You go ahead, girls. Order me a tuna fish on rye and a chocolate sundae with tomato, ketchup, and mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We gotta get back to the hot box. You still rehearsing? Yeah, that slave job, Charlie. He's been working us all day. Finally, I says, look, Charlie, I'm starving. I gotta get out of here and get something to eat. He says, you don't want to eat. You just want to sneak out and meet that cheap bum Nathan Detroit. Well, what'd you say to him? I told him I says I'll meet whoever I want. <laughs> well, don't upset yourself. How's your cold? <laughs> oh, it's much better. Thank you, Nathan. Happy anniversary. Oh, a present? For me? I hope you like it. Oh, it's a belt. <laughs> Read the card. Okay. Sugar is sweet, and so is jelly. So put this belt around your belly. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, baby, how about your present? I was going to get you a diamond wristwatch with a gold band and two rubies on the side? Oh, Nathan, you should have. Oh, that's all right. I didn't. I'm sorry. No, I kind of like it when you forget to give me gifts. It makes me feel like we're already married. <laughs> Look, baby, one of these days we'll be in the money, and you'll have more mink than a mink. Oh, Nathan, darling, I can do with anything, just so long as you don't start running the crap game again. Oh, what? A crap game? What an absurd thought! Psst! 1200 cheesecake and 1500 strudel. Huh? Yesterday, Mindy sold 1200 cheesecake and 1500 strudel. More strudel than cheesecake, huh? Oh, that's great! Megan! What's this? Oh, uh, nothing, baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Any news yet? Oh, not yet, Harry. I'll let you know. All right, just wait. Mm -hmm. What was that about? Um, his wife's having a baby. Why is he asking you? Well, he's nervous, of course. It's his first wife. <laughs> Listen, I got a fella coming soon, and uh, I know you're hungry. Nathan, are you trying to get rid of me? No, no, of course not, baby. I just, uh, I don't want your sandwich to get soggy. <laughs> Boys, take Adelaide over to the drugstore. You see, baby, you've got a cold, and it's across the street. And there's a lot of open manholes around. Nathan, you're so thoughtful. You're just the sweetest person. Goodbye, Nathan. Bye, Nathan. Ladies and gentlemen, for the grand finale of our world review, we take you down to the farm with our star, Miss Adelaide, and her chick, chick, chicky.
reminds me of crap cake! Hey, you're getting yourself upset. You'll be all right tomorrow. Let's see that smile. That's better. Love you, baby. Oh. It says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration may react. <laughs> With psychosomatic symptoms, difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. In other words, just swing around that like plain little band of gold. A person can develop a cold. You can spray it whether you think you're the strap to cock eye neck. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. She's tired of getting a fish shine from the hotel cook. A person can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense, shows a neurotic tendency. See note.
what's the name of the flavoring? Bacardi. These are delicious. I think I'll have another one.
Good luck. Thank you, Sky. Bye, Sky. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you in the kitchen. I've already tried all the other rooms. <laughs> well, Miss Adelaide certainly seems happy. Well, she's in love. Yeah, I guess so. What time is it? Well, I don't know. Four o'clock. It's your time of day, isn't it? No, I've never been up this late before. How do you like it?
But he promised to change. A change, change. Why is it the minute your dolls get a guy you like, you take him right in for alterations? What about you, Ned? Why can't you marry like other people do? And live normal like people? How the hell? With wallpaper and bookends? <laughs> no, Miss Adley. What do you mean, no? I mean that guys like Nathan Detroit, Sky Masterson, we're not meant for a life like that. So when a dog gets mixed up with a guy like us, it's no good. No good. I'll see you in a couple months. Where are you going? I don't know. Las Vegas. Will you see Nathan before you go? Maybe. Tell him I never want to speak to him again! And have him call me here. <laughs> Look, why don't you just get yourself a new guy? I can't. I love Nathan. Wait till you fall for somebody. He'll understand. Yeah.
like this over one lousy elopement, are you? Adelaide, please! It's no use, Nathan. I have succeeded in them not being able to upset me no more. I have got you completely out of mind. We're gonna get a home, you know, a greenhouse with a white fence, like the Winnie's colors. Oh, Nathan, we gotta do it soon. I got another letter from my mother today, asking a lot of questions, and she put in one for you, too. Oh, a letter from your mother? For me? Dear son, Nathan, this is my first letter to you, although you have now been married to my daughter for Twelve years. <laughs> but I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters. And in my mind's eye, I can see you as you go down to work every morning at seven. What a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an A and P? I'm not even the manager. Well, I was gonna promote you for Christmas. I know how hard you have to work to take care of your family, Adelaide and the five children. And the other one that's on the way? Mother wanted me to visit her, so I had to tell her that. Don't she know I can't support six kids from what they pay me at the A&P? <laughs> I'm very proud to have you as a son-in-law. You're a good man, and I know you'll always take care of Adelaide. I feel like a heel. Nathan, darling, we can still make everything all right. Look, it's not even midnight yet. We could have looked right now. Okay, Adelaide. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, come on, we're going to be late. I'm on. No, baby, I can't. Why not? Well, because, uh, i got to go to a prayer meeting. <laughs> Nathan, this is the biggest lie you've ever told me. But I promised you it's true. You promised me this, you promised me that. You promised me anything. In your own words. I dreamed last 
last night I got on the boat to heaven and by some chance I had brought my dice along and there I stood and I hollered someone faint me but the passengers they knew right from wrong for the people said sit down sit down you rock the boat the people said sit down
brothers and sisters. Life is one big crap game, and the devil is using loaded dice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I hear something about a crap game? Excuse me, um, brother Matheson. Yes, brother Detroit. May we get married in your mission? Adelaide and I? Certainly. I married Brother Masterson and Sister Sarah, and I'd be glad to do the same for you. Well, congratulations, Nathan. I'll lay you eight to five, you'll be very happy. Thank <laughs> you.